rediscover your persuasive self. One theory of communication is that all communication is inherently persuasive. And communication doesn't just mean the words. If you're sitting in a public place reading a book, your body language is not only projecting a message, but an intention. Leave me alone while I enjoy my book. When we purposely avoid eye contact with somebody, our nonverbal language is projecting an intention. Leave me alone. So consider that at your core, you are a persuader. Somebody who, as part of your daily routine, needs to persuade other people to a certain degree. Consider also that the more effectively you can persuade others, the easier your life will be. On one end of the persuasion spectrum, we can imagine somebody who has zero zero persuasive skills whatsoever. Nobody even looks at them when they say, excuse me, if all they want to do is ask for the time. On the other side of the persuasion spectrum, we can imagine somebody that has nearly magical powers of mind control when all you need to do is say goofy things to people and they will automatically and eagerly obey you. Imagine for a moment that you did have this power, that no matter what you said, other people would immediately and eagerly obey you. The only constraint was you couldn't get people to break the law or break any promises they've made to other people. And you couldn't get them to betray their friends or relationship partners. What kinds of things would you ask them to do? How would that affect your life? Consider the following questions. Don't try to come up with any specific answers. Rather, simply allow your mind to wander through your memory and see what comes up as a result of these questions. Ready? What are some recent experiences you've had that validate you as a persuasive person? What specific group of people do you think will be most impressed by your persuasive skills? What is one particular persuasive trait that you repeat? repeatedly use? How does your persuasive skills transform others? What kinds of things seem to matter less the more you become an effective persuader? How many different people do you think you've persuaded in your life? What persuasion examples can you find in your memory that were not nearly as difficult as you'd once thought? What were some of the negative things you were able to leave behind as you continue to become a better persuader in the future? What are some of the things that persuasive people like you are capable of doing that others aren't? What are some of the things in life that you fortunately don't have to worry about anymore as you become more persuasive? What did you discover about yourself once you found out how effective of a persuader you really are? What will you do after you become become even more persuasive as a communicator? What are some of the things that repeatedly amaze you about your persuasion skills? What is it about your personality that makes persuasion so natural for you? Why is your current level of persuasion better than it was before? What is the most important thing about your core self that is the driving force of your ever-increasing persuasion skills? What was the second thing you realized about your purpose once you understood how you can easily persuade others? What will be some of the physical changes in your life as far as location and living conditions once you become even better? at persuading others? What are some of the things about your core self that you hope won't change as your popularity as a persuader continues to increase? If you'd like to learn more about persuasion and influence, please visit mindpersuasion.com. Check out the links below. And because we make videos almost every day, please subscribe so you can continue to learn more. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching.